After a few seconds, which seemed long to her, she said, I really am no good at all with music. I think the music is a small element of something very large, said Tong, doe-eyed, implacable. I see no problem, then, she said. She felt cold, false, defeated. Her throat ached. Tong waited a little for her to say more, and then accepted her word. He picked up the microcrystal record and gave it to her. She took it automatically. Read this and listen to the music here in the library, please, and then erase it, he said. Erasure is an art we must learn from the Akans. Seriously, I mean it. The Hainish want to hang on to everything. The Akans want to throw everything away. Maybe there's a middle way? At any rate, we have our first chance to get into an area where maybe history wasn't erased so thoroughly. I don't know if I'll know what I'm seeing when I see it. Ki Allah's been here ten years. You've had experience on four other worlds. She had told him there was no problem. She had said she could do what he asked. Now she heard herself still trying to whine her way out of it. Wrong. Shameful. I've never lived through a great social revolution, Tong said, nor has Ki Ala. We're children of peace, Sati. I need a child of conflict. Anyhow, Ki Ala is illiterate. I am illiterate. You can read. Dead languages in a banned script. Tong looked at her again for a minute in silence, with an intellectual, impersonal, real tenderness. I believe you tend to undervalue your capacities, Sati, he said. The Stabiles chose you to be one of the four representatives of the Acumen on Akka. I need you to accept the fact that your experience and your knowledge are essential to me, to our work here. Please consider that. He waited until she said, I will. Before you go up to the mountains, if you do, I also want you to consider the risks. Or rather to consider the fact that we don't know what the risks may be. The Akans seem not to be a violent people, but that's hard to judge from our insulated position. I don't know why they've suddenly given us this permission. Surely they have some reason or motive, but we can find what it is only by taking advantage of it. He paused, his eyes still on her. There's no mention of your being accompanied, of having guides, watchdogs. You may be quite on your own. You may not. We don't know. None of us knows what life is like outside the cities. Every difference or sameness Everything you see, everything you read, everything you record will be important. I know already that you're a sensitive and impartial observer. And if there's any history left on Akka, you're the member of my crew here best suited to find it. To go look for these stories, or the people who know them. So please, listen to these songs, and then go home and think about it and tell me your decision tomorrow, okay? He said the old Terran phrase stiffly, with some pride in the accomplishment. Sutty tried to smile. Okay, she said.